that was all before 10 o'clock. The caterer rang to say it's going to be chicken Kiev instead of chicken tarragon. And then the florist phoned to say that there aren't any tulips. Oh, and then the cellist has carpal tunnel syndrome. Whoa, whoa, We're not whoa, whoa, be... whoa. Emily, honey, OK? Well, up yours too. Oh. What? <laughs> no, no, that's, that's time out. Okay. Sorry. Sweetie, you got to relax. Sorry. Everything's going to be great, OK? Come on, come on. Chicken Kiev? Mm-hmm. Doesn't that sound delicious at the last minute? No, but something like salmon would just... It would be so much more elegant than chicken. And you wouldn't have to worry about the salmonella. <laughs> so I can't wait to see where you're getting married. Yeah, yes, yes. This place is beautiful. Emily's parents got married here. I still can't believe they're tearing it down. It really is the most lovely building you'll ever see. I mean, it's over... Oh, my God. It's nice. Oh! 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 Oh, my God! How can this be happening? What are we going to do? It's all right. Everything's going to be all right. How is it going to be all right? Uh-huh. I see that. OK. I talked to the guy with the shovel, and I found out what happened. What? 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 They tore it down a few days early. I just spoke to your dad, and you know what? He seems to think we'll be able to find a new place for the wedding. We don't have to. Oh, well, what? You found a place? No. But Monica and I were talking, and, and I was so upset about the hall being knocked down, and she suggested that we just put the wedding off for a bit. <laughs> she said what? She said if I'm not going to be happy getting married somewhere that we can find in a day, well, then we should just postpone it. <laughs> Postpone it. <laughs> Emily, do you think Monica realizes how much our parents spent on this wedding? Huh? Do you think my sister's teeny tiny little brain comprehends <laughs> that people took time out of their lives to fly thousands of miles to be here? Huh? <laughs> this isn't right. I realize that people are going to be disappointed. <gasps> Well, I can't ask people to do that. Would you ask people to do that? Don't you point your pants at me. <laughs> we have no choice. Uh, anywhere that's half decent will have been booked months ago. Ross, don't you understand? This is our wedding I'm talking about. The only thing I understand is postponing it is not an option. This is when we're getting married. So what are you saying? It's now or never? No, I'm saying it's now. Or? There's no or in mine. <laughs> what is wrong with these pants? It's not the pants, it's you who's backwards. And if, and if you don't understand how important this is to me, well, then perhaps we shouldn't be getting married at all. What? Emily, no, wait, stop. Emily, please. Oh! Oh, my God. You're even dumber than I am. Excuse me? Ross, how long have you been planning this wedding? I don't know, a month? Emily has probably been planning it since she was five. Ever since the first time she took a pillowcase and hung it off the back of her head. <laughs> That's what we did. We dreamed about the perfect wedding. And the perfect place. With the perfect four-tiered wedding cake. Monica, why have you brought me here of all places? You'll see. I tell you, this wedding is not going to happen. OK? But, but imagine a lot more lights, OK? And, and you know, fewer bricks and, and, and flowers and candles. OK, and the musicians, they can go over here, OK? And the chairs, they can face this way. And you go. But, but if you don't love this, then we'll do it any other place, any other time. Really, it's fine. Whatever you want. It's perfect. And I don't know, if it starts to rain... Well, th then we'll get wet. <laughs> oh. I don't even have a date. 